All right, so we closed out the previous video by talking about the importance of specificity uh, in your lead magnet. So I want to unpack that a little bit by, uh, you know, a little bit more by showing you what I don't mean when I say lead magnets must be specific. So this is one example of what I don't mean. I don't mean run a 20-week e-course. Again, what is the specific value that you're going to get after you go through a 20-week e-course. It's an extended period of time. I got to wait forever and ever and ever. It's kind of like a newsletter, right? I mean, what's the specific benefit I'm going to get from a newsletter? Well, I'm going to get a whole lot of emails and maybe one of them will be valuable, right? There's no specificity to the promise. There's no specificity to the desired end result. And that's why these don't make great lead magnets. Now, am I saying that you shouldn't do newsletters or, you know, mini courses or e-courses e or mini classes, whatever you want to call them? No, you absolutely should do them. They should just be offered in addition to a great lead magnet. So for example, if you want to say, you know, thanks so much, you know, for subscribing to the special report on this as an added bonus, you're also going to receive my newsletter. Well, that's fine. Or if you want to have it as a checkbox option, that's great. All those things are fine. That should just be in addition to a lead magnet, not instead of. Okay. So I don't mean this. I also don't mean a trial. A lot of people think that a trial is a lead magnet, but a trial is not a lead magnet because a trial is basically saying, again, give me your contact information. I'm going to give you a temporary access to something. Well, temporary access is not a true benefit and everybody knows that you're in it for the money, right? There's no actual value being delivered here in advance. And that's what lead magnets must do. They must deliver real actual value in advance and trials, they just don't do that. They just don't deliver real value in advance. I also, when I talk about a great lead magnet must be specific, I don't mean this. Now, this is an example from our friends at HubSpot. Let me just say that I respect very much uh, HubSpot, their business, their product, and uh, the people that are over there, and their marketing savvy. They're brilliant. They're, they're, they're fantastic. This one, though, this particular lead magnet, the introductory guide, how to use landing pages for business, lacks specificity because people don't wake up saying, you know what? I just, I, I wish I knew how to use a landing page for business. That's not what they say. It doesn't speak to a specific desired end result. It doesn't make a specific promise. It's just kind of bland. It's kind of boring. It's kind of boiled chicken. And so what I'm going to show you later on in this particular section is how to take this exact lead magnet right here and how to kick it up a notch, right? How to take the exact same lead magnet without having to recreate anything except for maybe the cover image and you know, really increase the conversion rate. Because let's remember the whole idea of optimizing the tripwire and what we're wanting to do here is to increase the number of leads that we're getting. So that's why I show this as an example, okay? So this is what I don't want to see you doing. So what do I want to see you doing? Well, number one, I want to see you making a specific promise, okay? Make a specific promise. I'm going to show you some examples of that. I also want to see you give specific examples, okay? One of the simplest ways and one of the most effective ways to give a specific example is in the form of a case study. And again, I'll show you some examples of that. Um, also offering a specific shortcut, a specific shortcut. You can answer a specific question and you can deliver a specific discount. But again, the key here for all of these specific, 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 specific. Wow. That's hard to say five times fast, but I think I just pulled it off. So that's what I want to see you doing one or some, in many cases, you might even make all of these, but making at least one, you know, adding at least one of these aspects of specificity to your lead magnet is key if you want your lead magnet to convert, if you want to maximize your conversions, and if you want to maximize the number of leads that you're getting. So now let's go in and unpack all these and I'll show you some examples.